What's good, YouTube? It's Mirror Boy Squid back with another video. Let's talk about the ban list today. I know there's a bajillion ban list prediction videos online, so we're not really doing a prediction, but more so let's talk about the cards that absolutely need to be hit or to go to one. And we don't really care about semi-limited or unlimited. That's mostly like even subjective at this point. There are bajillion cards that could go to three or two and not do anything on the metagame. But let's talk about the cards that absolutely are stirring up the metagame causing a problem, causing the game to be toxic and not really fun, and that really need to go either to zero or to one. Now, starting at the top, everyone already knows their favorite card in the cash tier that has to go, and that card is the one and only Diablosis. So this card is the card that enables a lot of the annoyances for the deck. They obviously are able to lock out all your zones or up to three zones, and then you can't really play because you have to activate the first card that they, you know, if they banish with a Rise Heart, then they're locking your other zones. This is a very problematic card. It's a little bit too good in the cast tier deck because it just enables all of their degenerate combos, and there's not really much that needs to be said about this card. I think it just has to go immediately. Next, I don't think any other cast tier card should be banned, but let's talk about Branded. I think Expulsion should just go. It's not a fun card when the Gimmick Puppet lock you. I know you guys are saying that Albion, the Sanctifier Dragon, the new card, can also do the same thing, but it's a monster. It's a lot easier to take care of. Also, for them to make that turn one, I'm fairly certain that it also disrupts some of their plays, so they can't go into the traditional Mirror Jade play, if not mistaken. Um, even if I am, I know they have to kind of extend their plays, like play weird to get to that point. It's not as fluid as setting an expulsion. And also they can expulsion lock you under shifter. And like, you know, they can also play around ghost spell by banishing things and then summoning back from their banished. Whereas Sanctifier is a lot more susceptible to things like Droplet, uh, Imperm even, you know, like so on and so forth. There are a bunch of different cards that sort of interact with it. So I'd rather deal with an expulsion on legs than I would an actual expulsion on trap form. And I would just like to see this card go there are a bunch of different cards that they could summon to your table even if gimmick puppet is gone there's still some very toxic cards like ross disciple so on and so forth out of the magical supreme force so let's just get rid of this card entirely the next card is a little bit controversial you guys are probably gonna think i'm crazy but i think brandon lost should go i just feel like the brandon deck gets a lot of support even though it's getting stifled by ash and also dimensional um, barrier i think that the deck either needs to be hit in terms of consistency so like branded fusion to one or maybe even branded opening to one but the most logical thing that i can think right now is branded lost getting banned completely because of the fact that it's a card that does too much for the deck it allows them to search mercurial you cannot respond on their summons and then on their turn you can't even go spell the branded and red on your turn uh they get to add and search and you also cannot interact with the uh, chimera that's summoned you can't ash it it just feels to me like this card causes a lot of annoyances that the deck is capable of so getting rid of this card will still allow the deck to make the mirror jade board uh but it'll just be a little bit inferior with the fact that you can't search anymore brand lost is gone and then the lubellion also is a little worse because it cannot activate brand lost from your deck so i just think this is a little controversial but i think this card needs to go it's just unfair when it says your opponent cannot interact with you your opponent cannot play with you for me that's just really really annoying speaking of things that say you cannot play d shifter absolutely has to be banned in my opinion this is the best hand trap in the game i don't care what anyone says this is hands down the best hand trap in the entire game and it's not only for one turn it's for two turns i can't play on my turn and now i can't play on your turn either it's like okay or even worse i can't play on your turn with my hand traps like valor or grow and then on my turn i can't play because i can't use the graveyard this is a single card that wins an entire game by being dropped on its own i if we had like some kind of way to take statistics i would guarantee you that this card probably ends games 90% of the time that it's dropped at least so for me it's not fun there are a lot of blanket cards in this game like artifact scythe that were already banned by konami good looks by them i think this is a card that should have never been printed it's extremely unfair it's unfair that it doesn't hurt both players because like the decks that are playing this just don't care about the graveyard so for me this card is an absolute card that has to go and let's talk about some more cards that are actually prevent you from playing ibli this card I think is very unhealthy. It's very annoying that there's no drawback. Somebody can just normal summon this card, make Almirage, and then summon their entire board in defense mode so you can't crash, you can't get rid of it, and it's just like, wow. If I don't play Lingaribo, then I can't play? This is just annoying to me. I don't like cards that say your opponent cannot play. It's just not fair for the game, so let's get rid of it completely. 
Talk about other cards that say your opponent cannot play. Well, Neutria Beast, honestly, I think this card should go as well. It's not once per turn. It allows them to mill so they accumulate an advantage. Like, yeah, Ghost Ogre can stop it, but the decks that play this, they're able to set the Sacred Blessing and get it back. They're able to use Camellia to revive it. They're able to use it again. They're able to play a bunch of hand traps. So if they stop you from playing, they can just get Beast back on the board in the following turn and then just end the game. I don't like cards that are just not once per turn Omni Negates. For me, this is just crazy that it, it, this card is obviously old, I get it, but for me, it's just way too easy to make with Camellia and Mo Cricket now, so it has to go. I don't like cards that say you can't play. Same with Abyss Dweller. I know this card is not really problematic now, but the format that it's problematic, it's super problematic. Like in the Tier Limits Mirror Match, this is the one card that made the Tier Limits Mirror Match at full power not fun. Abyss Dweller, it says, a blanket effect, again, you guys can see this recurring theme, blanket effect that says you cannot play your turn, you cannot play anything in your graveyard, you cannot activate anything. It's like, there's no way to interact with this. I'm like, like there, previously there were cards like Imperm, there were cards like Chalice, but they don't do anything when there are other cards that protect this. So they were playing like Suliac to send it off the table. They're playing like Elf. I know Elf is banned, but for me, I just don't like the existence of this card that says you have to have the answer or you're not playing your turn and you're losing the game. I think it has to be banned. I hate blanket effects. Konami needs to stop printing blanket effects, in my opinion. Let's talk about some more degenerate cards. Anti-spell fragments. This card is also another blanket. Imperial Order got banned. This card is more or less the same as Imperial Order. It's just like, I can't activate my spell cards. You bake your full board, you set this, you flip this, and then like, I can't play. For me, this is just not fun. I don't think this should be allowed in the game. It's just extremely, extremely, extremely unfair that your opponent cannot activate any card effects uh, in forms of spells. And then you have to set them all and your opponent can just pop them so the game's over. I think it needs to go. It cannot be in the game at all. It's very toxic. Another toxic card is Cyberstein. This card just enables crazy boards in the form of Exterial, uh, maybe even Last Warrior. Uh, it's just not fun. It's not a card that says, hey, I can play Balance Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not like a good, good card. It's a glass cannon card that summons a fusion monster that's super degenerate. It cheats it out on the table. Normally, you're supposed to like invest your entire hand plus like half your deck into summoning an exterior in normal circumstances. But nope, Cyberstein just says, okay, I can search this off of Gear Gigant. I can special summon it. I can pendulum summon it, or I can just uh, bring it back some way and cheat out a powerful fusion monster that just makes my board impenetrable. I don't like this card. I think it should never come back. It needs to go, please. Called by the Grave. I don't like this card either. I've always advocated for this card to get banned. It says, target one monster opponent's graveyard, banish it, and then negate the effects until the end of the next turn. So again, two turns, and it's a blanket effect. And it interrupts with hand traps. It's rewarding people for going first, which is already so favored in Yu-Gi-Oh. Why are you rewarding players for going first with their combo decks. Now I'm going second and I have to have two plus hand traps. Like two hand traps might not have been enough to stop their deck as is, given how powerful the power creep has gotten. Now I need to deal with a call by the grave too? Okay, so I have to deal with like three hand traps in order to actually have a, a chance of playing? It's so sacky at one. Also, it's so versatile because it also interrupts card effects that activate in the grave. It can also be used as a pseudo impermanence by banishing a copy of a card I already have in the graveyard and then one that I have on the table is negated. I just think that this card should never be in the game. It's not fair, it's not fun, and it needs to be banned. The last card that I think should be banned is a little bit controversial, but I think Math Mech is at the point where it's very, very powerful. We're getting new firewall cards in the upcoming set as well. That just pushes the deck a little too much with what Circular can do. Yeah, you could limit Circular, but I feel like that hurts a lot with the consistency. So instead, I would like to see a ban on Update Jammer. This is kind of controversial. You guys are thinking I'm crazy, but the thing is with the deck, um, typically they're only able to attack once once they resolve Circular because su surprise, surprise, Circular actually has this hidden effect where if you use the effect, only one monster can attack for the rest of the turn and they typically kill you with access code. I feel like the deck's opening is a little unfair, but the one thing that's a little more unfair is the fact that they can kill you with Update Jam or Access Code on the following turn. So I feel like if I'm able to survive on the following turn, I have a good chance of like playing still. I still know that Super Factorial opening is really busted, but there are cards like Ghost Spell that kind of take care of that, the Beast Deals. So as long as they're not able to kill me with Update Jammer Access Code, I feel like that makes the deck a lot more 
uh, down to earth than it currently is because this FDK is just absolutely obnoxious, this ODK. So I feel like update jammer should be banned. Maybe there's better ways to hit the deck. I don't know, but I just feel like I've died to this so many times. I feel like the deck would be a little more level headed to play against if we deal with that. And that's about it for the banned cards. So let's move on and pivot to the limited cards that I think should go to one. Kashira again, Unicorn, this is a no brainer. This is a one card starter. The one card entire engine that gives you full, 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 full combo, searches any spell, it should go to one. We have to hit this desk consistency. We don't have to kill it completely, but let's make it a little more down to earth, just like we were talking about for the Math Mac deck. Let's make it a little more less consistent. Let's make it so it actually hurts when we book a moon like a unicorn or we get rid of the unicorn by removal. They don't just summon another monster. Like, because there's so many, right? Let's just take care of the unicorn for now to one. Same with birth. This is just another toxic card that I think is just so good. It's an extender. They can reborn stuff. They can normal summon. They can play through things like book of moon. They can play through things that would have normally stopped the deck. But because of the existence of this card, they're able to play further on. I think it needs to go. It also targets three cards in the graveyard when you do something like polymerization to fuse, which is very annoying. And because you're not turn player, it's turn it's a chain link too, so they're able to banish your tier limits, for example. I just think that it needs to go. And that's actually all I think should get hit for the cash hero. I don't think we should neuter Fenrir. I don't think Fenrir is like a crazy card. It allows Fenrir to be played in other rogue decks as well as a strategy. And the deck, like the card's not super broken or anything. If my opponent goes special on Fenrir, out of Fenrir, I'm like, okay, that's, that's fine. It's not like the end of the world, right? And I think... With Birth and Unicorn and Diabolosis banned and these two cards at one, it makes the deck a lot less consistent and the deck is a lot easier to stop. So personally, in my opinion, I think that's what should happen to Kashira. I wanna talk about a hand trap that should also get limited and that's Sideframe Gear Gamma. I just feel like this card is absolutely unfair. The fact that it works on your turn as well is just too much. It gives you two bodies. That's just too much for me. It interrupts a lot of cards like Drone Lockbird, interrupts a lot of cards that um, would normally prevent you from playing that brings the game a little more uh, balanced, but instead you can Gamma them and then you it's just a blowout. Not only you negate the hand trap, negate the monster effect, but we also get two bodies to link or potentially synchro with. I think that's just really unfair. The card should have been eroded, so it's only your opponent's turn. They should print a new copy of Gamma that says you can only use it on your opponent's turn. That would be a, a lot more balanced. I just feel like it does too much for what it is right now, and I don't like how hand traps can negate and destroy. Typically, they should only do one or the other, negate or destroy, but this one does both. And I think it's one of the only hand traps that does both, aside from like Life Force Harmonizer, which is an obscure one. But I just don't like that it does that much. Uh, it's a little too broken in my opinion. So I think it should be limited. For sprites, starter needs to be limited. We can't give this deck any more follow-up. It just makes too many oppressive boards. So this plays with the consistency as well and it stops their follow-up. Um, and then I think blue also needs to get hit just because even with one starter, they're still able to spit out their entire board. And if you can't get rid of it, they can just kill you. And they also have follow-up in terms of cards like the Melfi's. So I feel like these two cards should go to one, ideally. I could see Jet as well as another argument, but I just feel like blue is a better one. So just hitting both to one, I think does enough for the deck. For Runix, Runic Tip, I think needs to go to one. This is the one card that allows the deck to do some unfair things. It allows the deck to be able to draw up to three cards, even when they only have one name in the graveyard because they're able to add Runic Tip as another name and then activate something, add the uh, Slumber, target something, and then draw three, for example. So it just allows that unfair advantage. It also allows them to search Fountain when you Ash or Imperm the Hugin, which is always annoying. And to that extent, I think Runic Fountain needs to go as well. It's not a hard one per turn, so I think it needs to go to one. Uh, they're able to draw potentially six cards if their hands that busted by looping the fountains and then adding it back with the uh, one of the, uh, not Hugin, but the other wolf guy. So I think this card should go to one as well. Runic Tip and Fountain should go to one in my opinion. I just hate these cards. They're too splashable. They're too generic. They do too much <laughs> for what they are. Skill Drain is another card I feel like should go to one. I know this card is at three. It's the sole counterplay to unfair strategies like Dimensional Shifter for certain decks. But it's just not fair that this card is in existence and a lot of decks don't main any spell trap removal. They're not printing cards that are in engine spell trap removal uh, in terms of spells or traps. Instead, they're always on monsters and surprise, surprise, they get negated by skill drain. So we can't even out skill drain. It's an auto win card. I just don't like this card. I don't think it should have gone to three. I would like to see it back at one or even banned for that matter. 
And then the last card is Pot of Prosperity. This card is just absolutely too broken for what it does. It allows you to excavate six cards. You're drawing six cards at the start of the game, or five cards even, and then you're seeing another six? That's like more than a quarter of our deck, guys. That's absolutely nuts. There's no drawback. We just banish some cards and then we add one. There's literally no drawback on this card that makes it hurt. In fact, in decks like Cast Hero where you're banishing cards, you're able to attach the Garudas to draw cards, you're able to attach the Skull Wagons to pop cards. It's like, it's insane. Why is this like drawback giving us advantage? So personally, I think Pot of Prosperity has to go to one. It's too consistent. It, I know like going second, you guys can argue for it being at three because you can dig into board breakers, dig into cards that would help you going second. But I feel like it just digs into too many cards. It's too consistent. To Doing the six is too broken. If it was at three, it'd be a lot more balanced, but six is just like, I can't support this card at three any further. I need to see it at one personally. And yeah, I just think uh, it's a little too broken for the game right now. So this is all I had for today. If you guys have any cards that need to be banned or go to one, let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. And if you haven't already, rate, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early. Hopefully we get that ban list. Otherwise, uh, probably in a week or two, but let's keep our fingers crossed and see what happens and we shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye